Ever have one of those days when you just wanted to go over the edge? Well, come September you can, or you can help someone else go over the edge. I like that idea better. All to support the fine work done by the Victory Center. Jackie Cummins is here from the center, along with our very own Melissa Andrews. Who's going over the edge? I know. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. All right. Exciting. So this is a really cool uh, fundraiser that you guys do for the Victory yes. Center every year, and you have to raise a certain amount of money, right, to to get to go over the edge. <laughs> yeah. How 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 many so people get to do it? Eighty-five people mm -hmm. get to go over the edge. They have mm -hmm. to raise a thousand dollar minimum mm -hmm. to get to go over the edge. And yeah, so if you're one of those people and you're one of those You've people. You've already done it. Yes, <laughs> yes, I have, we've done it. Um, yes, you did. And we are going to be going over the edge mm -hmm. for Stephanie Doyle. She's mm -hmm. someone that we followed yeah. here. Um, she had triple negative mm -hmm. cancer and unfortunately it's reoccurred yeah. as stage four uh, metastatic cancer. And there she is mm -hmm. with her three little girls. Mm -hmm. So in honor of Stephanie, uh, one of her childhood friends there and I are gonna go over the edge. We've raised <laughs> the money that we need, but we're not done yet. So you we're gonna have a little Event. So good. Yeah, you've got an, an ice cream. Uh, yes, so up. because she has her three daughters and we think that they would like to get involved, it's a great opportunity for them to feel like they can do something to help mm -hmm. their mom and also for their friends mm -hmm. that maybe want to get involved. We are inviting everyone out. We are going to be having a unicorn ice cream <laughs> social. We have what some kid's not going to want to get involved? Some some unicorn like ice yes. cream donated. It's going to be at Keener Park on August 18th from 1 to 3, and then those donations will continue to go toward our over the edge campaign, which all that money goes to the Victory Center yes, as well. So let's talk a little bit about the Victory Center. This yes. is, uh, you guys are doing some amazing things for folks um, dealing with, with breast cancer. Uh, this is more of a help them feel good um, versus treatment sort of thing. But um, yeah. Melissa, you were talking about breaking down just how much your dollar, how far it goes. So uh, tell me a little bit about first of the services that you provide. Okay, so the Victory Center, we help people with all kinds of cancers. Mm -hmm. So we help men, women, and even unfortunately we, mm. you know, children yeah. um, have come have come to the Victory Center. And our services are um, to walk hand in hand with the treatment that you're having. So we offer while um, people are in treatment, mm -hmm. they can get oncology massage, mm -hmm. reflexology, mm -hmm. healing touch, therapeutic facials. It's really wonderful um, when you're in treatment to have that sort of, it, it's even more than pampering. I mean, mm -hmm. it truly does Relax feed you your soul it, yeah. and it relaxes mm -hmm. you and um, centers you mm -hmm. so that you can continue to go through treatment, which, you know, oftentimes is is draining. Right. It's very and draining. This is something you got connected to when you were going through mm -hmm. uh, your diagnosis and uh, something that you felt really special and connected to, so you had to, to jump on board to do more. I had to jump on board. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. I knew it in my soul. I knew it um, from the minute I became involved with them. You know, unfortunately, I, I did go through a um, breast mm -hmm. cancer diagnosis and surgery and treatment mm -hmm. and lost my hair, mm -hmm. and so I went to the wig bank. Yeah. And what I found there were caring, loving, compassionate individuals. Um, and then I got involved with Over the Edge. Mm -hmm. So in 2018, I raised my thousand dollars, and I got to repel. <laughs> you got uh, to sixteen opportunity. <laughs> sixteen stories. Wow. And let me tell you something. I am terrified of heights. Oh my gosh. I'm terrified of heights. And, uh, what about you, Melissa? Are you afraid of heights? I am not afraid of heights. Okay. That's not one of my things. I have my things, but that's right. not that's one of not my one things. Of them. Okay. But one of the things <laughs> that I did want to say is sometimes you just never know who among you is being helped by the Victory Center. Yeah. We just had a great conversation yeah. with our um, web manager, mm -hmm. Victoria Duggar, mm -hmm. who had ovarian cancer, yep. and she received a wig from mm -hmm. the Victory Center. So it just really helps so many people that you may not even know about in your daily life. Right. Well, and, and it's unfortunately so many people are touched by cancer mm -hmm. so uh, you yeah. can help and with the money you've raised so far you know you've already give provided what uh, several facials and you've so already I'm oh at almost gosh. two thousand dollars so yeah. that's a thousand dollars can get I mean that's an entire year wow. of group therapy of a monthly group therapy session mm -hmm. and let me tell you that group therapy for me was essential to mm -hmm. keeping my sanity while I was moving through this process yeah, of so treatment. So anytime you donate to someone's campaign you are helping yes. to provide mm -hmm. the massage or you know the, the therapy classes or whatever mm -hmm. it is that they reflexology that they take yeah. part in. And your money really stretches far too so with that donation you're, you're helping right. a lot of people. Um, okay so are you excited? 
I am. <laughs> you know, my mom jumped out of an airplane when I was a kid, what? so I always you thought she was pretty brave. So now I get to say, well, I'm going down this building. My kids are a little bit afraid. You know, <laughs> it's so interesting that you say that because I had no concept of how scary it would be for my children to watch me go yeah. down that building. But after everything was said and done, like a day or two later, my kids were like, so it was really terrifying. Yeah, it was kind of scary. To <laughs> go over the edge. I'm doing it too this year. Oh, good. I'm doing it again, so I'm, I'm like excited. halfway there. I'm super excited. So if you want to help um, Melissa's campaign here to, to help uh, mm -hmm. uh, Stephanie, right? Yes. Um, you can come out to the ice cream social. Yes, oh, and yeah. there's the uh, actual link where you can donate to our campaign. Mm -hmm. You can also donate to the Victory Center. And then we do have the um, unicorn ice cream social <laughs> that's going to be August 18th at Keener Park. Just whatever donation that you can yeah. afford. And just bring your kids. Yeah. It's going to be fun and just a way for kids to help out in general. They can feel like they're part of it, too. Yes, yeah. I think that's Very important. important. Very important I for think kids. so. Yeah. Absolutely, it makes them feel like they're doing something. They're mm -hmm. able to actively do something to help out and, and contribute, and that's just wonderful. It's a wonderful, wonderful lesson for them. Very good. All right, ladies, thanks for coming Thank in. You. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Well, when we come back, how does gluten-free, vegan, non-toxic, and cruelty-free sound? A local entrepreneur has makeup made in that very way. We're going to show you when your day returns.